Hi and welcome. This is the seventh lesson and the second part of our comprehensive guide to strokes. Today, we'll be exploring the brush tools, the pencil and its sub-tools, as well as the eraser and its related sub-tools. Let's start with the paint brush tool. On the right, you'll see a bucket with various brushes. Here, you can choose from different types of brushes. While there are countless brush tools available, each with its own unique uses, in this video we'll only be scratching the surface, we will talk in more detail on a specific video about brush tools. You can also specify color, size, and brushes at the top from the option bar. When we select the paint brush tool, we can see from the properties menu that it only has a stroke color applied, as there is no fill color present. This is because the paint brush tool is a stroke brush. If we change the brush color you can see brush color changes. Additionally, we can adjust the size of the brush by pressing the open and close square bracket keys. Next up is the blob brush tool. Just like the paint brush tool, the blob brush tool can be resized using the square bracket keys. The key difference between the two brushes is that the blob brush tool applies a fill, while the paint brush tool applies a stroke. You can clearly see from the properties menu, only fill color is applied. There are many other uses for the blob brush tool, but we will save discussion of these advanced features for future, more advanced lessons as it may be too much for some people to grasp all at once. Next up is the pencil tool. Unlike the brush tool, the pencil tool always has a small size and sharp edges. It can only be resized after it has been drawn. This tool is ideal for those who prefer to draw with precision using a touch screen pen. Next is the Smooth Tool. As its name implies, the Smooth Tool allows you to smooth out the paths created with other tools. For example, if you have a stroke created with the Pencil Tool and you zoom in, you can use the Smooth Tool to soften any sharp edges by clicking and dragging the path. Let's set aside the path eraser tool for a while and move on to the join tool. If you have drawn intersecting lines using the pen tool, pencil tool, or brush tool, you can easily join the intersecting areas by selecting them with the selection tool and dragging the join tool over them. For example, I have created these three lines with pencil tool, and when I pick join tool, you won't need to average and join the points manually, simply apply the join tool. It is now a complete shape. Next is Shaper Tool. This tool makes it a breeze to draw basic shapes. For instance, if you want to draw a rectangle, the Shaper Tool will automatically recognize it and draw it perfectly for you. Similarly, you can use this tool to draw an ellipse, triangle, and even a hexagon with ease. Now let's go to the new page we created earlier. We have four pairs of shapes, and we'll be trying out different types of shape erasing tools. First up is the Path Eraser tool, which can be found under the Pencil tool. This tool erases the path from any shape. As you can see, we've removed the paths from the circle and it's now three different paths. If we unfill the shape and apply arrowheads, you can see how a creative shape can be built. Next up is the eraser tool. With the help of this tool, we can remove areas of shapes while the path remains closed. We can resize it by using the opening and closing brackets. When applied through the center of a shape, it converts into two different shapes, with the path still remaining closed. Next, we have the scissor tool. It cuts the path, for example, if we cut here it cuts the path. But if we make another cut, 
you can see that two different shapes are created with an open path. Lastly, we have the knife tool. The knife tool cuts shapes into pieces while preserving closed paths. So, it's similar to the eraser tool, but instead of erasing the shape, the knife tool cuts through it. On the other hand, the scissor tool and path eraser tool are similar as well. The scissor tool cuts the path while the path eraser tool erases it, both resulting in open path shapes.